Southside participates twofold. One, we do it because it's a field trip experience, but two, we also engage in the social aspect of the trip. It's one of our assured trips during the year where we take the majority of our students and our staff out. Team building is certainly an aspect of the trip, coupled with all the educational components within, within the days leading up to the trip, the trip, and then the days after. We can make connections for our students to local teams and kind of breed that Manchester pride, that Monarchs pride, that's a win. We hone in on Spartan pride at school and then how do we take that and represent that at the games. We've been lucky to have our course present for a number of years so we get to go in and have that moment of showcasing who we are and what we're about in that bigger venue and giving our kids that opportunity to be part of that Monarch experience is pretty cool. It's just another way for us to connect our students to our local community in a way that we have an educational connection to it. So we've got them out engaging in a fun activity. At the same time, we've got learning taking place, sometimes without them really even knowing. The workbook is a tool, and it gives you context, data, and information to apply to classroom learning. So we may have a set of standards that teachers are working on within a team. You can take the workbook and slide it right in and see we're hitting all these standards in math, language, arts, science, and social studies, but it's in a real life application, which is a nice balance for, for our students. That workbook makes all of these connections that Typically, if you went to a hockey game, you not, might not be thinking about an angle, you might not be thinking about the history of the goalie mask, you might not be thinking about how skates have evolved over time, but through the workbook and the conversations, the kids really start to understand there's a lot more to it than just what we see. It's navigating the vendors, it's navigating on and off the buses, it's getting into the building, it's interacting with the personnel at the, at the arena who are helping us find our seats. There's a couple different layers. So there's the planning aspect of we need to get the permission slips done, we need the payments submitted, we need the kids to be thinking about the workbooks. We need to have those conversations of what are behaviors that are expected. How do we deploy them or, or help them do those activities or behaviors in the trip? And then again, it's the, the debrief after the trip. How did we do? What would we want to see better? And we essentially know the date that's coming and then we back, we back in with the dates to do all of our permission slips, work on our transportation and get the kids ready to go. I'm a hockey mom. I'm a mom who has had kids who are in sports and so looking for opportunities to share that with other students, other ways to connect our school to our community, that's a win. It's not just a workbook. It's not just a hockey game. It's an experience that you're going on with your whole school and we take hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of people with us. So to have that and when you accomplish it every year when we finish the trip and we're like, yeah, we got another one, another good one under our belt. It builds community, it builds trust, it builds team. It's just one of those trips that we kind of bank off of now, and it's part of our fall.